uh, Professor McCarthy, can you comment on the use of FRAX in the UK? Yeah, FRAX, um, FRAX first became available in the UK in 2008 and around that time we also launched the, the guideline that allowed GPs to use uh, the FRAX tool, so that was the National Osteoporosis Guideline Group. Uh, and at the moment we estimate that uh, we are uh, scanning in the UK roughly uh, about uh, a thousand patients a day uh, in the UK. Uh, so uh, similar numbers coming through to the NOG website. So uh, we're really very pleased and it seems to be uh, largely a primary care community that is using it. Uh, were GPS involved in the implementation of the FRAX in the UK? Yes, uh, the, the National Osteoporosis Guideline Group uh, comprised uh, secondary care physicians and uh, GPs and uh, some other uh, patient groups as well. So what we wanted to do was to make the guideline user friendly and uh, uh, it was best to involve GPs in that from the word go. Uh, what do you think about Ultimate Society as a model of uh, uh, make expert in bone metabolism uh, talking with the orthopedic surgeon? Yeah, I think organizations like uh, Automed are the sorts of organizations that we need uh, because frequently we have divided the medical fraternity into two types. There's the surgeons who fix the fracture and there are the physicians who think about preventing the next fracture and actually what needs to happen is both need to talk together because the surgeons frequently see the patients at their first, sometimes their second fracture and if they don't intervene then we may miss the opportunity to intervene so it's really important that we all talk together. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.